Okay, ball. I go home now, I got it. Welcome back uh, to this Veterans Day parade in New York City. Perhaps the best attended one in a, at least 15 years. A lot of people marching and a lot of people supporting. Absolutely, Paul. and they came from all over to participate in the parade, which when we first started it, some of the veterans were saying, let's call it the nation's parade. Yeah. And others said, that's a bit much for us. Well, no, it isn't. They came from California, from Maryland, from Maine. They came everywhere to come here to New York and walk down and up this street and to say thanks and to listen to these New Yorkers who are taken out from a work day. It's not a vacation day. This is Paul Buka, by the way, who we're talking to, a Medal of Honor recipient, combat veteran of Vietnam. So great to have you with us. You pleasure. noticed the uh, Blue Star families flow. Tell us about the Blue Star families. Blue Star mothers, and I first got to know them. I went to their convention. Um, there were 500 ladies in Grand Junction, Colorado, and I asked them, I said, exactly, what are you? They said, we're the mothers of those who serve started in World War I and they used to put a blue star in the windows of the homes where young men and women were serving their country. And then when someone was killed, they took the blue star down and put a gold star in and that gave birth to the gold star mothers. Mm. So of all the Americans that we see that have the most invested in these wars, it's first the blue star mothers and blue star families because they have relatives, their most precious resource they own, are participating in serving this country abroad. And then the Gold Star Mothers, who stand like a, a vision. They wear white. Everywhere they go, they stand for purity. They have given more than anyone else. They've given their sons and daughters for this country. And they're just very, very special and very inspirational Well, people. we're looking at the uh, Air Force, walking up uh, New York uh, City, uh, looks on like Fifth a, Avenue. Is this the Air Force Academy, by It looks chance? like the Air Force Academy. Very Rio sharp. From Colorado Springs. Hey, Paul, just so you know, I got a tweet from the West Point Band. They were very happy that we gave them a shout out. Lots of people tweeting that they're enjoying watching the parade, learning about you, learning about the other men and women who've served our country so well. Yeah. So thank you thank uh, for watching, and uh, we still have more to give. Right now, we're going to go to Mike Woods. He's on Fifth Avenue. Hi, Mike. All right. Hey there, Greg and Roseanne and Paul. Tell you what, we have another Paul. Paul Rykoff here from the IABA, which stands for? The Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. We're the first and largest organization for the new veterans coming home. we got about 500 of our folks down at the back of the line doing push-ups to keep warm. Wow. And they're really going to bring some huge energy. They've come from all over the country, and they're really excited to be here. All right, so so over 500 now. Where are these folks coming from? We had folks who took a bus from Cleveland and were waiting at the Flatiron Building at about five this morning. We had people who flew in from Los Angeles. We've got a couple of folks that just got back from Iraq and Afghanistan. So they've come from everywhere to be here in New York for the greatest parade in the country. And what's it been like so far today? It's been great. It's a little cold, but it's a lot warmer than it is in Afghanistan right now, right? So we keep it in perspective. A lot of good energy, uh, and we're just honored to be a part of this. Honored to be a part of something that brings together veterans from so many generations. And we're just trying to keep up our the mantle and how about that new york love i mean are you being shown the love out here oh absolutely i mean you know new york gets a bad rap i think sometimes people don't realize it's a military town we love our troops we love our veterans and there's no finer day to show it than this parade all right paul thank you so much we thank you for everything that you do happy veterans day and a big salute to you and all your men and women thank you very much we appreciate you got it all right we'll be right back we appreciate your dedication, your commitment, the fact that you're out there showing honor. Um, keep your head low, keep your heart solid, keep your morale high, and stay focused on your mission. Happy Veterans Day. Peace.